A controversial gun bill is back from the dead in Olympia tonight. Last night at this time, we told you the move to limit so-called high-capacity magazines was dead because it failed to pass before a deadline. But King 5's Drew Mickelson spoke to a lawmaker who found a way to buy some more time. Drew, tell us more. So, Mark, yesterday's deadline killed bills that only dealt with policy, not budget-related issues. Those bills can have until next month to pass, and that's how they got around this. this these lawmakers have uh, submitted a bill, a gun-related bill, that would be tied to the state's budget because the state would have to pay cash for gun owners who turn in their high-capacity magazines. Now, the bill would not force gun owners to give up their magazines. Those who already have them can keep them, but they could sell them to the state for a still-to-be-determined fee under the law. The bill would prohibit the sale of magazines, allowing more than 15 rounds. A similar bill failed to pass off the House floor yesterday. Why? Well, it depends who you ask. Republicans filed 120 amendments on the bill, an unusually high number. And the Speaker of the House told us this morning that she had the votes to pass the bill, but if she followed the rules, allowing debates on all those amendments would have taken about two weeks. The amendments that the Republicans offered were not about debating the policy, not one bit. They were about killing the bill with, by whatever means necessary. Are you afraid this may happen again? I, I think that, uh, may, I, don't, I don't know. I think that they were happy to blame somebody else for uh, not bringing that bill. And as you know, uh, we're a caucus that believes in the Second Amendment, so we're happy that they didn't run the bill. That's House Minority Leader Representative J.T. Wilcox. He says if the Democrats wanted to run the bill, they could have. He said this was not an unusual tactic that they used. And he, he and other Republicans are planning on fighting this new bill, even though it may take a little longer. Coming up at 6.30, we'll hear more from Republicans who say they have found another way to make $30 car tabs the law of the land. Live at the Capitol, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.